Hey. All right, everybody have a seat. Welcome to the White House. Uh, let's give it up for this uh, quiet, reserved bunch called the Seattle Seahawks. World champions. Best football team in America. I, I, I considered letting Sherman uh, up here to the podium today. Uh, giving him the mic, but, but yeah, we, we got to go in a little bit. So. Um, obviously, we got some big Seahawks fans here today. Uh, that includes, uh, I know there's some members of Congress here who are, who are huge Seahawks fans. We've also got the Secretary of Interior, Sally Jewell, who's a big Seahawks fan. We got, we got Seattle Mayor Ed Murray in the house, a big Seahawks fan. Uh, I want to congratulate Coach Pete Carroll uh, for uh, his outstanding leadership. Uh, I think those of us who uh, you know, are, are in leadership positions uh, across disciplines, we're always looking uh, at folks who do things the right way. I think uh, it's pretty clear that uh, Coach Carroll does things the right way, and, and we're very proud of him. Um, Seahawks owner Paul Allen, uh, who, who has done a great job. Congratulations to him. We got General Manager John Schneider, who put together this outstanding uh, uh, organization. Organization, but uh, I'm curious where the, the championship belt is today, John. <laughs> we, are, we are here to celebrate, we're here to celebrate the first Super Bowl victory for the uh, city of Seattle. During the regular season, Seahawks tied for the best record. Suffocating defense led to uh, led the league in points allowed, yards allowed, interceptions, takeaways, turnover margin. They beat the rival 49ers. I knew uh, I, I, I knew you guys would would clap on that one uh, in the NFC Championship game. Uh, and then dominated one of the best uh, offenses in the NFL, uh, beating the Broncos by 35 points. Uh, of course, I don't need to tell you how uh, outstanding the Seahawks are, because they did a pretty good job of uh, describing themselves uh, as outstanding during the year. Uh, you may have heard about the Legion of Boom. Uh, you know, uh, Richard Sherman and Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor and Byron Maxwell, who combined to form the best secondary in football. Uh, you had a dominating defensive line with guys like Michael Bennett and Red Bryant, uh, Brandon Meebane and Brandon Meebane's belly roll dance, uh, you know, all combining to. We can't do that here in the White House. <laughs> There's Super Bowl MVP Malcolm S Smith. You've got. You've got uh, breakout star Percy Harvin. He, he's not here today, but we got to give props to Beast Mode, Marshawn Lynch. I am sorry that Marshawn's not here because I, I just want to say uh, how much I admire his approach to the press. <laughs> I want to get some tips from him. It's about the action. <laughs> and then there's Russell Wilson, who you may not recognize because his, his locks are shorn. He has cut his hair. Where's Russell? There he is. I was telling him he looks okay this way, too. You know, he doesn't have a peanut head or anything, but. Um, <laughs> So, so Russell has won more games through his first two seasons than any quarterback in history. In history. He also became uh, 
only the second African-American quarterback ever to win a Super Bowl. And the best part about it is nobody commented on it, which tells you uh, the progress that we've made, although we've got more progress to make. And, 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 and part of the reason that, that I think uh, Russell uh, inspired a lot of folks uh, is he's been proving the doubters wrong for a very long time. For years, uh, folks said he'd be too short uh, to succeed as a quarterback in the NFL. Uh, five quarterbacks were drafted ahead of him, which is a familiar story for a lot of these Seahawks. You got three starters in the secondary who were taken fifth round or lower. 19 players on the roster weren't drafted at all. Last year, a pundit had the gall to call the receiving corps pedestrian, which I heard made angry Doug Baldwin <laughs> even angrier. Um, so, so let me just say, as a guy uh, who was elected president named Barack Obama, I root for the underdogs. And, um, and so, 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 so seeing folks overcome the odds excites me, but it also uh, excites me uh, when you see uh, the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. And that's what team is all about, and this is a team. And it's not just about football. These guys have been overcoming adversity off the field as well. You've got fullback Derek Coleman, who's been legally deaf since he was three years old. Um, you know, I joke about Richard Sherman, but, you know, he grew up in Compton uh, amid uh, some wonderful people, but also gangs and drugs and guns. His dad had to wake up uh, before 4 a.m. every day to drive a garbage truck. Uh, but because of his dad's hard work, and his family and his mom and, you know, Richard ended up earning a, a 4.2 GPA in high school. Yes. Won a scholarship to Stanford. Uh, you know, he, he showed kids from his neighborhood that they could make it. And, and you know, if he seems a little brash, it's because you got to have attitude sometimes if you are going to overcome some of this adversity. And the fact that he st still goes back uh, to inspire high schoolers uh, for higher goals and, and making better choices, uh, you know, that's, that's all-star behavior. And he's not the only one giving back. You know, Russell spends every Tuesday, even during the se season, visiting sick kids at the Seattle Children's Hospital. Uh, Coach Carroll's a, a Better Seattle and a Better LA organization works uh, to keep at-risk youth away from drugs and violence. Paul Allen's uh, Family Foundation has given millions of dollars uh, for medical research into traumatic uh, brain injuries, which uh, obviously is a concern of the NFL, but also is a concern to our troops uh, and, and people all across the country. As a team, the Seahawks raised more than $700,000 this year for causes like supporting our troops and strengthening our schools. And that spirit of working hard and giving back has endeared this team to its fans in a way that most cities can't replicate. Now, part of it is you all have that stadium that is kind of cheating because it's so loud. <laughs> You know, you, you, you hired some physicist to <laughs> make it so, what do you, think I did? <laughs> you know, I mean, was, uh, you know there, there are a lot of really smart people, you know, at Microsoft and up in those places that can design these things. Um, uh, so we can't talk about the Seahawks without talking about uh, the 12th man. And, uh, uh, you know, last season, the, tw uh, the 12 set a record not once, uh, but twice for the loudest crowd noise in history. Now, history is a long time, so, <laughs> so that's really loud. So loud on multiple occasions, they've actually created minor earthquakes, which is disturbing, and you should... <laughs> Think about that. Um, after the Super Bowl, when they had the chance to celebrate, they, they let loose in true uh, Seattle uh, style. And while some got a little carried away, uh, there's actually video of a huge group of Seahawks fans interrupting their celebration to wait for the walk sign before crossing an intersection. So that, that's Seattle for you. So congratulations to the 12s. Congratulations to the players, the coaches, the staff. The owners, congratulations to the Seattle Seahawks and the whole city for an outstanding season.
Thank you, Mr. President. I can't believe I'm saying that. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Mr. President, on, uh, for all of this, the guys here that represent this football team that uh, represent so much more than just ourselves, uh, our owner, Paul Allen, uh, this tremendous following that we have. The 12s are here again. Uh, it's, it's a very, very special opportunity for us. We're very thankful and grateful to be part of it. You know, this is a bunch of guys that came together. Uh, we were looking for to celebrate uniqueness and differences, and uh, this is a different bunch of guys. Now I want to tell you, and they've got a they've got a way about them that's very, very special. And they've come together and shared a, a unique mission and goal to do something really special that we're really proud of. And uh, I hope we can continue to demonstrate that. These guys are that that kind of people, and uh, so we're very proud to be here. And I do know that uh, you know you have access to some of the great special force units. Really? anywhere and you can do whatever you need to do really? but I want you to know that just a phone call away is the boom. The boom Everybody is here. <laughs> Justice. In case we need uh, for, for some sort of special mission. You That's right. Know. That's right. You never know. You never know. They All will right. be just a phone call away. And uh, <laughs> so we're grateful to be here. Thank you very much and we're very proud. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. You guys want to take call the answer? Why don't you guys take, let, let's take this down and we'll get a good picture. All right? Oh, hold on a second. Wait, wait. Sherman probably wants to say something. He wants to say something. <laughs> I was going to give you that. We're going to hold this up. We're going to hold it up. Official 12 man member. Official 12 man. Why don't we put this uh, podium down and that way we can uh, get a good picture? Come on. <laughs> 